Hello and welcome to Nikolai's Genetics Lessons and this video is for animal breeders. It is very easy to understand and if you would know how to solve such problems you can be called uh, animal or plant breeder right away. So here is a problem. In a large flock of turkeys body weight was 10 pounds. In a test to determine if the average weight of the flock could be increased by selective breeding, birds of weight um, 14 pounds were removed and allowed to inbreed or interbreed. The progeny had a body weight uh, of uh, 11 pounds. From this information, estimate narrow sense heritability. So we uh, especially interested in uh, narrow sense heritability because this um, signals us if we can use this particular population for breeding purposes and uh, also would tell us that uh, with each generation we can uh, move to our goals for example to select uh, for certain trait so let's now solve this problem and in this problem, we see that uh, breeders uh, trying to increase the weight of the, uh, of the turkeys. So, uh, usually, uh, just any general population uh, would look like this. So, if we uh, say this is two axes, one would be frequency and so this is going to to be frequency and here for example we would see uh, body weight so we can see a picture like this so this is going to be a distribution of body weight within a population and somewhere here we would see this is going to be a mean of the base population and uh, of course uh, this left shoulder would be a distribution of body weight that is less than a mean and here on the right shoulder we would see a distribution of the weight uh, those animals whose body weight is uh, greater than mean of the population and as you see mean of the population the frequency uh, of the occurrence of such uh, birds would be highest we would see very few that is uh, very uh, small and has small body weight we would see very few that is very large much larger than the rest and has highest body weight and most would be very close to the mean so this is uh, as you see would be frequency so uh, we were told that uh, animals have been selected from this population uh, whose uh, weight was 14 pounds and average was 10 pounds so we can put 10 pounds here so 10 pounds was um, average of this population and then we took some birds uh, from this shoulder and uh, you may ask why don't we took birds for example from here and didn't start to breed them why we have to take almost from uh, from here to here those the biggest would be here because in this case we wouldn't see much um, genetic variation and we would probably have just two three birds here and this is not very good for breeding for breeding we need uh, much more uh, uh, animals for example at least a hundred animals 
so we have to take from the shoulder it's not necessarily have to be right from here it could be somewhere here but at least we should have a certain number of birds so uh, in this new uh, population that we have selected we have a new mean so let's say the mean would be somewhere here and why mean is going to be somewhere here and not say somewhere here because uh, here we have higher frequency of the animals and of course uh, the mean not going to be in the middle here but would be shift uh, more to the left because here we have more animals of this body weight than we have here and probably here we just would have only one animal one bird so of course such um, uh, selected parents we call the select parents mean would be shift slightly to the left uh, from the middle so how we call this this is going to be a mean of the selected parents and it is uh, 14 pounds but when we selected these parents we interbreed them and in the next generation we would see the following picture so probably this would be something like this so um, as you see we will still see a certain distribution of the trade still we would see that some of them would be would have a smaller body weight some would have even greater body weight than uh, we probably would see in the parental generation and we would see a shift to the right uh, where uh, average of the population would have higher uh, body weight uh, comparing to the uh, parental uh, generation or uh, base population from which were selected but smaller than parental uh, selected parents so uh, let me put a new average here so this is going to be a mean of new population let's say it's going to be here and it shows us increase by one pound so 11 pounds so one more time this is let me put uh, letters here so 10 pounds was a mean of the base population so base population mean 14 pounds was selected parents uh, mean of the population of the selected parents and 11 pounds mean uh, of the uh, F1 generation and two important uh, other uh, definitions here so uh, for example this difference here between mean of the base population and mean of the selected parents we call uh, selected differential and this difference between between uh, base population mean and mean of f1 generation we call response to selection so this is going to be response to selection and this is going to be a selection differential now you see the whole picture and uh, now we can find an answer so for narrow sense heritability h small squared stand and uh, as you know uh, all calculations in statistics uh, are done on the 
uh, scale between 0 and 1. So our answer have to be between 0 and 1. And how we are going to get uh, um, an answer between 0 and 1. So uh, h squared cannot be uh, greater than 1. So cannot be greater than 100%. It's not possible. So 1 here is equal to 100%. For example, 0 0.5 would be 50%. And uh, our formula basically would be we have to divide uh, response to selection by selection differential. So what is the response to selection? We basically have to uh, deduct from mean of the F1 population, the mean of the base population, and we are going to get response to selection. So uh, mean of F1 generation minus mean of the base population divided by uh, selection differential. This is a difference between a base population and selected um, parents. So the difference would be 14 minus 10. And the answer would be 1 quarter. Or we also can say 0 0.25. And this is going to be our answer to date. If you need an answer in percentage form, in this case we have to multiply this answer by 100. And the answer would be 25% would be uh, narrow sense heritability. And what this number tells us, uh, so 0 0.25 or 25% percent can be an answer and this number tell us that uh, about 25 uh, percent uh, of the uh, trade distribution is uh, contributed by genetic um, makeup of the uh, animals so this tell us that uh, this distribution is not only due to different environmental factors and of course, different envir environmental factors uh, may influence, uh, for example, body weight. If you would, uh, for example, eat uh, not enough food, of course, you would be underweight. Or if you would eat a lot of fats, you would be overweight. So it doesn't rely on your genetics, it rely. Uh, on uh, what we call environmental factors, the body weight. But, of course, uh, to a certain extent, this also rely on your genetics. And in this population, for example, we see that these birds are not inbreed. We can use uh, inbreed uh, animals for breeding purposes. For example, we can breed with other inbreed animals and would get a hybrid but we cannot use inbreed animals for selection breeding. So uh, this tells us that we can use uh, this population for selection breeding and that we can uh, expect certain results, shift of the desirable trait in desirable direction. And this is all for today. Thank you for your attention. Please subscribe for my new videos that I post almost every day. Thumbs up if you like this video. Please write your comments, questions if you have any. Share this video with your classmates. And see you in the next video. Goodbye.